Hey, good morning. How are you this morning? Well, I decided that I'm going to get out one of my pumpkin spice cake coffees that I got last holiday season, actually. Um, I got several sleeves. Actually, I used up most of my sleeves and somebody else who had some was nice enough to uh, sell me theirs because they didn't care for it that much and they sent it to me. Oh, wasn't that nice. Anyway, so let me get some sort of a cup here. Um, so this morning, I don't know, this may or may not be of interest to some people with the hot weather. I'm wearing my Magellan fishing skirt. You know, it has shorts under it. Could you even see the shorts? See, there's shorts under it. It's got mesh pockets with zippers. It's got a pocket in the back with a zipper. I discovered that when you wash these, um, you need to zip everything closed. Because one morning, uh, I was wearing, I have three of these. I have um, a khaki, a blue, and a black. And I put on the black one, and I was doing a video, and I don't know what color the mesh is on this one. I look in the microwave door. Okay, it's dark colored. But on the black one, the mesh was white, and there it was, just hanging right out, neat and flat. <laughs> <laughs> against my black skirt. So, yeah, it's good to um, zip these things up. So they've got like, you know, a nice wide sort of stretchy waistband and a drawstring. And I don't know, can you see this? I mean, this is not a fashion video. I guess it's turning into one. Um, this is difficult. Oh, wait, I can turn the camera around. Duh, sorry. Okay, see, it's got holes in it on the side panel so that it lets the air flow. And also, it's made out of some kind of fabric that, um, like, if you, if you get water on it, you can just brush it off. You know, it will get wet, I mean, eventually, <laughs> um, if you wet it enough. But... Pretty much you can just, you know, flick the water off, which is really nice. Um, and then, so I love these skorts. I've been wearing them for about, oh, three years or so. And they change the style a little bit every once in a while. But for the most part, you know, it's pretty standard. And by the way, also the the um, main part of the skirt is just a little stretchy. It's just it's good, you know. I imagine if you go fishing, which I don't, but if somebody wants to take me fishing, I'll go. <laughs> but um, you know, if like you need to get in different positions or sit down or pull in that sailfish or whatever it is it it has some give in the fabric so it's really comfortable then i'm wearing this is from old navy oh golly and i hope i don't have any labels hanging from me like mini pearl who remembers mini pearl and this is a ever so slightly stretchy fabric it's some new fabric they're putting out a whole line i don't know it's like dry tech or that may be some other brands name but it's supposed to dry really really quickly and I thought I'm gonna get this and see how it is in the South Georgia humidity cuz like yesterday afternoon and evening I went out to walk Grayson and I didn't even have to I didn't have to work up a sweat all I had to do was stand outside for just a minute and I was just uh, so damp all over. So I thought, well, you know, maybe this will sort of let it evaporate out or something or not feel 
clingy or yucky. Anyway, yes, so forgive my high fashion terminology here. All right, let's slide this down and put this on here. Here is my pumpkin spice cake. It's 7.77 ounces, so pretty. Now, this tastes really, really good, just black. It really does, but there's something psychological with me about I like to have milk in my coffee. I don't know. So anyway, here it comes. This is an Espresso Virtuo. That's the name of the machine. The model is the Evoluo. An Espresso Virtuo Evoluo. <laughs> and, um, oh yeah. Oh, good morning. I see several people are watching. Golly, what's the weather like where you guys are? I would imagine it's pretty warm most everywhere, at least in the United States. Well, I don't know, maybe not in Alaska. I don't know. Anybody in Alaska watching? And then I was realizing I've been watching this show that takes place in Australia, The Farmer Wants a Wife. Um, it's, on, it's on Hulu and it's on Tubi. Um, and um, I, you know, it's been occurring to me that in South Australia, it's like the reverse of the United States. It's colder because you're getting towards the South Pole. And in North Australia, it's getting closer to the equator, so it's hot. I mean, duh, you know, obviously, but I, it's just not, if you live in the United States or probably in Europe, you know, you probably don't think that way. You think North is cold, South is warm. Um, I am making the pumpkin spice cake capsule and oh good it is not gonna overflow that's good news isn't it and for those of you who tuned in late oh look see it's rainbow time here some more yeah rainbow time at my house so my score is a magellan m-a-g-e-l-l-a-n you know like magellan who I don't know, did he circumnavigate the globe? That seems to come into my mind. Magellan and maps and stuff. I think so. <laughs> I, this stuff used to just, you know, come into my mind really quickly, but um, it's not information that I um, access very often, so it's sort of getting pushed to the back there. And, uh, and this is an Old Navy... Uh, there are new fabrics that are supposed to dry really quickly, you know, for the active life. Like when you step outside in South Georgia, uh, that's the activity. You step outside, you immediately get covered in sweat. <laughs> you don't have to do anything extra. So, I hope that everybody has a really good day today. You know, <clears throat> i tell you one <clears throat> one little story. Oh, oh I, I, mm, I really like the pumpkin spice cake. I hope they come out with it again for the holiday season. I tell you what, if they do, I am going to buy up a, a bunch because I really like this stuff. Well, anyway, oh, so somebody's asking, have I tried this iced? Oh my gosh, I have not. But if I talk long enough here and it cools off enough, I may throw some ice in there or try it in my hyper chiller one of these days. <clears throat> but you know, I've got all the way until maybe October, November to wait. If You know, if they are gonna come out with it again, I don't wanna run out. Okay, so this is what I was gonna tell you. So last night, um, you know, Grayson has been sick with some sort of GI thing. They're trying to figure out what's going on. And um, he just came off a course of metronidazole. 
Yep, I'm talking about you, lazy bones. Yeah, before we even got back to the house this morning on our morning walk, you just plopped yourself down in the grass. <clears throat> yep. Anyhow, so he finished his medicine yesterday morning. And, you know, I've been a little bit concerned. Is he going to get sick again or what? Because uh, that has happened before. Well, around 1 in the morning, he... Fly. He starts woofing at me. <clears throat> I thought, oh, no, here it comes. So I was wearing my Mickey Mouse nightgown. So it's like a, a great big T-shirt. So I knotted it at the waist and pulled on a skirt. Looked very fashionable. <laughs> and took him out. You know, and I was just waiting for, oh, we're going to have a disaster here. Well, it turned out that everything was okay. He just apparently wanted to pee a whole lot. <laughs> and we came back in. But the thing is that the whole time we were walking, and when we came back in and I was trying to get back to sleep, and normally I can go back to sleep easily, but it was, you know, I was thinking, oh, no, is he going to get sick again? I couldn't get it off my mind. Normally, I can <clears throat> I can do pretty well putting something out of my mind, you know, at least temporarily. But ah, I just, you know, had such a problem with this because, you know, we're looking at a possibility of expensive medical procedures and making decisions about that. And it, just my mind could go wild. Anyway, so what I wanted to say is I have been working on, although it's hard working on it in the middle of the night, um, this whole thing of if something is bothering me, saying, okay, this, this is going to change, this is going to pass, this is bothering me a lot right now, but, you know, I just kind of need to ride this out and... I'll feel better later. Um, because what happens is, rather than being concerned about the situation, I end up almost being more concerned about the fact that I'm feeling so upset about the situation. Do you have that happen to you? Oh, so somebody's asked, what breed is Grayson? Grayson is a rescue dog. And it turns out that he's a standard poodle. And he's like over 70 pounds of pure muscle. I have to be careful around the house because when he gets the zoomies, I have to get out of the way because if I am in the line of trajectory, I don't want to end up with a broken bone or something. I mean, he's still got a lot of puppy qualities in him because he was... Um, from what we can ascertain, probably locked up for the first year and a half of his life. And then I got him. Actually, what is today? I got him a year ago tomorrow. And um, anyhow, so he's, he's a wonderful dog. I just love him. But, you know, he came with some various issues. And I thought they were just behavior things. But looks like there may be some medical things too. I may throw some ice in it after I get off here just to give it a little try. Um, anyhow, so <clears throat> I've had to, you know, remind myself, of course, it's difficult in the middle of the night, isn't it? Like things are always more they loom ominously in the middle of the night, whereas during the day, especially when the sun is shining, it's a lot easier to deal with stuff. But yeah, you know, I've been telling myself, um, you know, let's just ride this out because a lot of the things I'm dealing with, um, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how long they're gonna last. Um, you know, Wendy's commenting, let whatever happens be okay. Um, I don't know. It may not be okay, but I may need to be okay with it. I may need to adjust to it. Right now, I just, you know, I need to have a wait and see attitude about 
you know, not just Grayson, but some other things in my life. Well, anyway, I'm just jabbering on and on here. I want to put some ice in this coffee and see what it's like. And um, I may have missed some of the comments here. I'll respond to them um, later. Uh, you know, when I'm, I'm looking back through the post. But, yeah, so thank you for joining me this morning uh, for my little fashion show and my little coffee talk and my dog's medical problems. But, no, really, you know, the point is how do I deal with his problems psychologically? How do I deal with the fact that, you know, there's an unknown situation and I don't know how it's going to turn out. You know, it may not be a dog. Maybe you have a child or a relative or a friend or yourself. Oh, sometimes we just have to remind ourselves. Okay, just going to have to ride this out and wait and see. I'm rooting for you.